Welcome back to the Crochet Crowd as well as my friends over at Yarnspirations.com. Today we're going to do the baby's hat that is in this pattern. We've already done the jacket as a tutorial format. Today we're going to do this. This size is available from newborn, three months, and six to 12 months. Let's listen to this real quick. This video has sound alerts added. When you hear this sound, it will be your signal that the segment is finishing up. Press stop and crochet the instructions and then press play again to continue along in your project. So here we are in the pattern and we're going to be using Bernat Baby Sport yarn. It's a four millimeter size G crochet hook today. Just as a full disclaimer, I don't have this yarn in stock. I am substituting with Bernat Super Value using a five millimeter size H crochet hook today. It will change the size of the hat but for demonstration purposes that's what I'm using. So the pattern is actually on page number two and it's this instruction right as you see here. There is a size difference. Let's talk a little bit quickly about that. So what we notice is that there's different colors of of the sizes. So newborn is like a fuchsia, yeah, uh, three months is like a yellow and six to 12 months is in green. Whenever there's a decision to be made you'll notice that the colors of the pattern will change. So if we go and look at the hat just like you see here it says that we're going to start off in the hat instruction down here and there is no color difference. That means all of the sizes are exactly identical and then it says we get to here and it says size newborn only. This is the sixth round right there. So that's what you want to do. Then if you're doing the three to six month then you'll follow this instruction instead. So this is the sixth round instead. Now if you're following then uh, round number uh, the six to twelve months only this is the seventh. So how it works is that you'll c come and complete down here to newborn just like what we're gonna do here. But if you're gonna do three to six months then you'll just jump to use this sixth round and then if you're continuing along to do the six to 12 months then you do number seven and then all of them pick right back up here. You can see that there's a measurement difference as you see. There's also some ears which are really quite easy to do and we'll be doing that today as well. So without further ado let's grab our crochet hook and yarn and let's begin. So for all sizes let's begin. We're gonna be beginning at the top of the hat, the crown and then work our way down to the forehead. We're going to insert our hook in and we're going to chain a total of three. So one, two and three. So let's begin round number one. So eight half double crochets, third chain from the hook. So go right to the beginning chain right where I'm pinching around here and it's the third chain as well and we're gonna half double crochet a total of eight times. So let's start counting these out. So one, and two, this is three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Just like so. So once you have your eight done just slip stitch to the top of the first chain, sorry of the first half double crochet that you started with. So just right up over here and that concludes off round number one. So let's move along to round number two. So a general note in this pattern it says that the first chain two that we begin the starting of the rounds do not count as a, as a stitch. So we have to keep that in mind. So we're going to chain two. So it doesn't count as anything and then in the first one that you've done the join you wanna put in two half double crochets into that same one. So one and two. So here's the repeat pattern and the sound alerts are now gonna pick up as every stitch or in this particular round is gonna get two half double crochets. So please do that in every stitch around on each at the end of this round. So as you come up all the way back around just to make sure this last one that you see here that's not an actual stitch that's actually part of the first. Don't mistake that you should a have eight groups of two half double crochets and so you're going to join this to the top of the first. Um, half double crochet that you had begun in round number two. So let's start round number three. Chain two, remember it doesn't count as anything and in the first one you've done the join. I want you to put in two half double crochets. So one and two just like that and now the next one is gonna be one half double crochet by itself. So here's the repeat pattern. The sound alert will come soon. So it's gonna be two half double crochets into the first one and then the next one is going to be one by itself. Okay, so two into the next and one into the one after that. Please continue to repeat that pattern going all the way around for number three. 
So finishing up round number three, it just got one more to go. It's one half double crochet by itself. Then just following the pattern so nothing special and then just join it to the top of the first half double crochet that you started with. So that half double, that chaining two that when you're doing that kind of fills it in so that you have a more solid look for your hat. Let's begin round number four. Chain up two counts as nothing. The first one in the join, you're going to um, put in two, um, one half double crochet, sorry. And then the next one is one half double crochet. And then the next one is gonna have two half double crochets. So you're thinking to yourself, okay, well, before I was starting with two half double crochets and then one by itself and etc. The reason why the designer is having you do it this way, it breaks up the lines so that you don't have any consistent lines going down a hat. So it's the way to do it. So the repeat pattern is two half double crochets in a row and then the third one is going to be two half double crochets into the same one. Please do that all the way around for round number four. Coming up to the end of round number four, the last one is gonna be two half double crochets into the same one. That's because I'm following the pattern and then I join it to the top of the first half double crochet. So round number five. So round number five is still consistent for all of them. Chain up two and it's gonna be two half double crochets into the first one here. So now we're returning back to um, putting two into the first one again and again this breaks up the lines on a hat which is more desirable for many people. So now you're going to put in a half double crochet in the next three. So one, two and three. So the repeat pattern on this is two into the next one, one and two and then one into the next three. So, so please do that all the way around for round number five. So I'm coming up on the end of round number five. So this is consistent for all the sizes but now we're gonna take a detour then for the next one. So just join to the top of the first half double crochet. So round number uh, six is different from the newborn to the three month and round number um, six let's just talk about it and then I'm gonna do the newborn only with you. So newborn is that we chain up two and two half double crochets in the first one and then there's gonna be a half double crochet in each of the next nine and then two and then nine and then two. So then for the three months you're going to chain up two and you're gonna do one half double crochet in each of the next three and then two half double crochets into the next one. So the repeat pattern is three in, uh, in a row and then two, three in a row and then two. You will also do that for, uh, for six to 12 months. So the, for those continuing then to six to 12 months of age, uh, round number seven is slightly different then um, and it's only for the size as well. So it's chain up two two half double crochets in the each of the next and then one half double crochet in the next seven and then two into the next and then uh, one into the next seven and etc. So just refer to the pattern for that if you would like to look at that more carefully. So for newborn size only we're gonna move up and we're going to chain up two and we're going to put two into the first one that we did the join in. So one and two and now we're gonna do one half double crochet in each of the next nine. So one and two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and nine and then two into the next one. And then nine again and then two into the next one. Please do that same thing going all the way around for round number six for newborn. We're gonna pick back up now for all sizes. So if you did the three months to six to 12 months, make sure you do those rounds first before carrying on in this part of the project. So we're going to carry on and we're going to chain up two, do the one that you've done the join in. Remember that chain two doesn't count as anything and you are gonna half double crochet just once in each of the stitches all the way around. And then you're just going to join it to the top of the first half double crochet when you get back around the goal is now is that your hat needs to get to a certain measurement. So you gotta start folding this hat just like this and it has to get a certain measurement. So for the newborn size it's four inches and for the th three months it's four and a half and for the six to 12 months it's five inches. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go around once with you and then I'll pick this back up and uh, we'll carry on. Then I'll just at the end of this round and then I'll just recap once again and then we'll carry on from that point. So when you get all the way back around just join it to the top of the first half double crochet and carry on. So chain up two and so forth and just go around again. 
Uh, for tutorial reasons what I'm gonna do is that um, so you're just gonna go around half double crochet and join. So make sure you get your distance that you need. Use a tape measure in order to do it. Now just as a full disclaimer I'm running out of this color of yarn and I'm not gonna be able to finish my project. So what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna now jump you then to the final round. So once you get your final inches uh, done then what you have to just do is the final round is just gonna be chain one to begin and you're just gonna do one single crochet in each of the stitches going all the way around so it's really quite easy. So what I wanted to do is I wanna save enough yarn because I'm gonna show you how to do the ears next and I'll be right back. So just single crochet all the way around and I'll join you at the end of this round. So if this was your final revolution it'd be the single crochet just join it to the beginning. So because this would be a baby hat just remember that this would be bigger. Um, I'm just running out of yarn so I just don't wanna ruin it for myself by switching colors. You can switch colors at any time if you wish as well. So what I wanna do is that I wanna get rid of this tail end but because a child's wearing it you don't want anything to naturally fall out on it on the child as, as well. So all you're just gonna do is take a darning needle and just drag this yarn up underneath the stitches. Okay so it appears on both it should it just should be right in the middle. Okay so don't impede the edge at all and just drag it on through and then go back in the other direction for a second time and then drag it through one more time in the other direction so it can never follow it on you. Back and forth three times. So therefore it's completely gone. So your hat would be bigger at this point. So what I wanna do is that I wanna apply the ears to this so if this was much bigger I have one ear completely done. Let's and what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna show you how to do the ears next which would just attach to the top of the hat. So back on the pattern we're now for the ears. You will notice that we're back in the color coding. That means that there's different size ears for the pattern. So the first sign is a newborn, the second is three months and the third is six to 12 months. So as we crochet these instructions here I'm gonna do the newborn size. So it says one single crochet in each of the next two, three or three. Just choose the number of the size that you're working on in order to make it work. So if it doesn't matter to you the size of ears just follow the newborn that I'll be doing with you on camera. And there's only six rounds it goes relatively quickly. So let's begin to do that next. So let's begin to do the ears. So you're gonna chain the number of the size that you're gonna do for the newborn is chaining of only five. So I'm gonna do that. So one, two, three, four and five. So it says one single crochet second chain from the hook. So we're just gonna do that. So count it back and just go one single crochet second chain from the hook and then it says one single crochet in each of the next two. So there was a color coding there if you were doing the other sizes. So just two there and that leaves me with one chain left over. So in the last chain you are going to put in three single crochets. So one, two and three but you're not quite done. Now you have to turn it upside down and go through the bottom chain. So you've been crocheting like this. Now you're gonna crochet and come along the bottom chain. So you're it's gonna tell you then one single crochet in each of the next two. Okay so it's a size difference, a difference for the other sizes. So one and two and then it says two single crochets in the last one that's available to you. So this is gonna be two right there. We're just establishing a kind of a round circle. So one and two and you're going to slip stitch it then to the beginning single crochet that you started with right there. So you've now just gone all the way around in a complete circle. So let's go on for round number two. So starting right where we are we're gonna chain up one and come in right into the one that we're about to start and we are going to do one single crochet and then we're going to single crochet in each of the next three. So there is a size difference there if you're changing that. So I'm only doing three just like that and then it says to do three single crochets into the next stitch. So just coming in. So one, two and three. So you're just kind of turning the work as you go. So then it says to put in a single crochet in each of the next four. So one, two, three and four. And now that you got that in 
So you're going to then um, just three single crochets into the last one. So you're gonna do one, two, and three and then you're just going to join it to the beginning one that you had started with like that. So now you have more of an oblong circle. So what's gonna happen is that you're making these circles and it's just gonna open up and then you fold it in half to make the ear. Let's move along to round number three. So round number three is the last time you have to do anything special and then it comes really easy. You're gonna chain up one and then one single crochet in each of the next uh, four that it says. So you're gonna say one, two, three and four and then three single crochets into the next one. So you're gonna go one, two and three and then it says one single crochet in the next six. So one, two, three, four, five, and six and then it says three into the next one. So you got one and two and three and then you just join it to the beginning like that. So again it's more of a circle but you can see it's now starting to buckle. So you wanna buckle it out so just get it so that the middle comes towards you and let's re uh, do rounds number four, five and six really easy chain up one and it's simply just one single crochet in each of the stitches going all the way around and because you're not adding any stitches more to it it's gonna start buckling into the ear shape that you need. So it's just one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. So this is gonna be three rounds of this. So this is four, five and six and when you get all the way around you're just gonna slip stitch it to the beginning single crochet to finish off. So I'm not counting any stitches, I'm just kind of following it around. Like that and then I just join it to the beginning and then start the next one again. So chain up one, one single crochet in the first one and then one into each. So please do this all the way for now five and six and I'll see you at the end of that. So once you get to the very end of this, this is the end of round number six. We just want to just fasten off and just be done with it. So what I would recommend uh, for you is just you want to slip stitch to the top and you're done. So leave an extra long tail for you now. You're gonna use that to sew it onto the hat and I'll review that real quick next. So just pull that strand through that loop and then you just continue to fold it like so. So it's like a set of ears when you go to do that. To do that. So let's uh, review sewing this to the project. So here's the photo once again and we're looking at the baby ears exactly where they're kind of placed. There's also another photo on page number three of the different size hats from the newborn to three months to six to twelve. You can see their rough positioning for it. So what you wanna just do is you wanna take a look at the hat. So say this was completely done and I want to start it off. So I'm going to put a darning needle through the long tail and I want to just start fastening. So see how it's kind of bent in like that? It doesn't matter. You can bend them either way. It, it really doesn't matter. So what I would like to do is that I'd like to start off in the front, uh, top here and just kind of eye it up and just at least one side and pull the needle through with the yarn and bring the, the baby hat up. So then come back on the other side right through the actual ear itself and we're whip stitching this into position. So with the hat folded in half like this it becomes really easy. So just going through the hat area and then back through the ear on the other side. So just stay close to the, the bottom section and because I'm whip stitching it into position it'll turn out really good. Okay so back through the ear and so forth. So this would be how you sew on the air. So what I'll do is I'll get this uh, attached and then I'll show you how to weave in the end. Actually I'll be just a couple more seconds. 
doing this kind of stuff is actually pretty easy. I really don't mind sewing things uh, to crochet projects. Some people have this frustration with doing so. I'm not one of those people. I feel it's part of the process and I feel it's like close to the, the final stages of a project and I don't mind it at all. So continuing along coming right back into the project and make sure the ear is completely attached just like you see. So if you had a front or or, or uh, back side that you had a preference to then all you just have to just do is just weave in your edge or sorry weave in your tails. So going back and, and it's just like I showed you on the brim area with the with the needle going back and forth three times and therefore it will never fall out on you. So just glide it up underneath the stitch work like so. So all you just got now is that you have one attached. You should be able to open that back up and now it's completely attached as you see here and so what you can just do then is just grab the other one that you were working on and just count from the interior of the circle and then just start that and attach it roughly in the same spot on the other side and that's how you would do these kind of things. So this is the baby hat. This compliments the little baby jacket. Until next time I'm Mikey on behalf of Yarn Inspirations as well as the Crochet Crowd.com. We'll see you again real soon. Bye bye.